I'm Alison Rees. I manage the Sports Development Unit in Carmarthenshire and one of my roles is to coordinate the LAPA for the Local Authority. It stands for Local Authority Partnership Agreement and it is an agreement that we have in place with Sport Wales. The agreement was created in 2009 and it is a mechanism for us to receive funding to deliver some national programmes locally, programmes such as Dragon Sport, 560, free swimming for over 60s and under 16s, community chess. In 2009, when the LAPA was introduced, Sport Wales recognised that each local authority in Wales is different. They've got different needs, different priorities, and different ways of coming up with solutions to address some of the local issues. So within the LAPA, within the funding streams that we get, there is scope for us to submit additional projects that are important to us locally. And these projects could be unique to Carmarthenshire, they may not exist anywhere else in Wales, but they're projects that we think will add value, that will make a difference, and will ultimately get more people more active more often. I'm Natalie and I'm the 530 officer at Colleague Cigar. Um, we introduced it uh, three years ago. We created, we had to have the lap a bid, which we put in for. So we put in our ideas, how we'd make the project run, where we would do it, how we'd make it work. And it's come along in three years. We started off just doing it at the one campus. We now do it at all five. We also started doing it with just drop-in sessions of badminton, basketball, table tennis. We now have a fully timetabled sessions which we go into different classes, not just sports, things like hair and beauty, animal care, where it's now in their timetables and they have to turn up as part of their courses. We did rely on the LAPA funding to begin with. It was 100% funded when we started and over the three years the funding has slowly come away and more and more money has been put in by the college. Now Students and staff have definitely taken it on board during the last three years. I think the LAPA bid helped us. I think without the bid and the money we wouldn't have started off to begin with because the college wouldn't have been as willing to give their money. But as we slowly progressed and showed how well we were doing and more and more money came in from the college. I think they're happy to provide and I think we can see a good future for 530 in the college. My name is Chris Ryan and I'm Director of Artscare Goval Calv. Our initial lap of bid came about as a result of Artscare Goval Calv being approached by the Arts Council to take on a remit to develop community dancing commanders in Pembrokeshire. Uh, at around that time as well we've, we were part of the formation of a dance forum in Carmarthenshire, which brought together different parties interested in dance, uh, both through the sports and arts side. Um, and as a result of discussions and support at that forum, it was decided that the LAPA uh, proposal would be appropriate. And that the initial idea of that would be to support the employment of a dance development uh, person at Arts Care Goval. My name is Laura Jane Jenkins, and I am the dance development manager for Arts Care Goval Kelp. Thanks to LAPA we were funded to actually, uh, my post was funded instead of it being a part time it was a full time. So we did a full dance audit of all of the community work going on at that time back in August 2009. What we found in that year of doing the first audit for community dance provision was that there was small pockets of really well developed um, community dance or private dance. Um, going on but that was in lucky areas really and they were lucky that they'd had that and that was normally run by a private company or one individual who had found the gap themselves. LAPA funding really helped us to uh, provide training first of all so we'd found out where the gaps were, we knew where there was successful sustainable projects or provision already happening and then we identified what we really needed to fill those gaps and it was a bit too ambitious to think with three artists that we had on board three years ago, we still have them on board, and myself that we could fill all of those gaps for two counties. Um, we now have 31 artists on the register and that's in three years. The impact of having developed such a great diverse team of artists is that we can now offer more services in terms of dance than we had before. By developing the team we actually reach out to more people now than we ever have done. We didn't do any training until the dance programme came on for the dance team or the dance artists for those three that were there. It was up to them to source through other avenues their own training. 
the first year through LAPA we funded the master classes. We now run the youth training scheme which we're working with eight young people from wider Carmarthenshire. They are now working with our artists as mentors for a whole year. We are also running 26 workshops of professional classes, which is our pro to pro class, which is funded by LAPA. We've just got funding for the third year from LAPA to develop another three hubs, which offer after school dance workshops, movement workshops, um, artistic workshops for people of all ages, from children, young people and adults. So I think had we not had that money, we wouldn't have grown the programme so substantially. My name's Lynn Ryland, I'm the Netball Development Officer for Carmarthenshire. CNDC is the Carmarthenshire Netball Development Centre. It was set up initially to allow clubs with junior sections the playing opportunities locally uh, and to make sure that clubs had regular playing opportunities but also the competitive situation as well. Prior to April 2011, the junior clubs and the CNDC ran from two age groups so we had an under 11s age group and an under 14s. We had a large number of junior members being recruited to our junior clubs. This ultimately meant that there was quite a big swell of numbers in those age groups. It was also quite difficult for 14 year olds to be playing against just 11 year olds. So there was quite a big gap in ability and age. So the LAPA meant that we could introduce additional age groups to plug those gaps. Uh, since the support that we've had from the LAPA, we've included under 13s and under 15s age groups. The risk for us in not only introducing those additional age groups, but also the fact that physically with that many members and teams, we would need another facility as well. You know, the risk was obviously cost of booking another facility uh, based on would it be successful if we split venues and we increased those age groups. It also meant that we would have to secure extra equipment uh, and also, you know, an increase in personnel to the clubs as well. So the lap of funding really took the risk out, out of booking an additional venue, purchasing additional equipment. The other section of the LAPA that we put in for meant that we could apply for hours and wages for a community coach. Uh, this not only meant that we could look into club development specifically to come on board with the CNDC which would ensure us new clubs and teams, but it also meant that they could oversee the running of that additional site as well. The future for netball in Carmarthenshire, due to the support that we've had from the LAPA in this junior setup means that netballers are progressing all the way through the age groups. Ultimately that's going to mean sustainable senior clubs as you'd hope that they'd filter through into the senior setup of their club. It's also meant that there's been a lot of development along the way of coaches and umpires as well to cater for those additional age groups so it means we're expanding our workforce and developing our work workforce. I think it's definitely going to have an impact on producing more elite athletes from Carmarthenshire through the netball. Um, because we've expanded our workforce and developed our coaches, that's obviously had a knock-on effect on the players as well. Uh, it means that they're getting more regular opportunities, but to play at their own age group, so against their own ability, and that's only going to improve their skills and abilities in netball. If we hadn't been successful with the LAPA application, I'm not sure we'd have been in a position to take the risk to expand those age groups and to book another venue. So potentially we could have really stunted the growth and development of the junior netball because we would have still been restricted to uh, one facility which you know only can allow us a certain amount of hours which therefore means a certain number of members and teams. So definitely would have had a, a detrimental effect if we hadn't have been successful. The decisions that are made locally are made by um, a group of individuals from all different sectors. So there is a steering group that meets, um, project proposal forms are submitted, so we have representation from education, from Codex Agar, from um, higher education, from other different departments within Carmarthenshire County Council. So we all get together, we all look at the project proposal forms as a collective and we prioritise what we think is important, those projects that could really make a difference and those projects are then submitted in the delivery plan um, and they go forward then to Sport Wales and Sport Wales also attend the steering group as well so they're very much involved 
in making the decisions and getting an understanding and a feel of the projects before it formally is submitted to them for their consideration. Through the LAPA, with the addition of funding, there's about on average £70,000 available, which is open for any organisation and the officer really to come forward with ideas in terms of how they want to get more people more active. So the steering group is very much open to any ideas and suggestions. There's a very simple one-sided a sheet of A4 project proposal form that will need to be submitted. Um, so if anybody has got any ideas, if any of the area teams have discussed things previously but need a little bit of money just to get things going, then come and have a chat with me and we can discuss the details and we can look to submit it in early November for the steering group to consider.